got to tell everybody. I just got a call from my grandma backstage. She's pregnant. <laughs> she didn't bother to tell anybody till after the ultrasound. Turns out I got a new uncle on the way. <laughs> my grandpa's not real happy about it. So I wrote a song about it. Grandpa got his teeth knocked out in 1952. From a stray foul ball, Joe DiMaggio hit the count. It was 0-10. I'll never forget the sound he made when the ball hit him in the lips. He tried to cuss and tried to swear. The only thing he said was this. <laughs> That's a good sex. Nice. <laughs> so, are you ever going to do that song I wrote about construction? I can't. You never finished it. You couldn't find a word that rhymed with scaffold. Oh, yeah, that's right. That doggone thing still got me baffled. Hello. Hey. Hey, I was watching you up there on stage, and I really like your stuff. Oh, thanks, but I'm married, and nobody touches my stuff anymore but me. <laughs> I'm a talent manager. My name's Amy O'Brien. Amy O'Brien? I know who you are. <laughs> I've been trying to get in your clubs for months. Did you get a tape of my act? Where was your act? All I saw was a woman giving birth. <laughs> That's where that tape went. <laughs> so, uh... Tell me, has anyone signed you yet? No, nobody signed me. I don't have a manager, if that's what you're asking. Well, now, hold up. Uh, we'd be happy to keep you in the mix, but we've been talking to a lot of managers lately. Barry? Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm, uh... Mr. Hamilton's attorney, uh, Barry Martin, of the uh, Martin Legal Group. <laughs> Your hat says construction. Well, Miss O'Brien, we're not really going to be impressed by your reading. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? Making you hard to get? She's hard to get. I'm easy to get. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, so anyhow, I am hosting a showcase for up-and-coming comics, and uh, if you do well there, I will be your manager. Well, thank you, ma'am, and I will be there. I... We will keep you in mind and consider your offer, and thanks. Oh, oh sorry, phone's vibrating. Mm. Gotta get this. <laughs> this is, uh, Attorney Barry Martin. Yeah, oh, you have a showcase too, huh? Wow. You know, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> uh, attorney Barry Martin, you're making an ass out of yourself. Oh, good, you're still up. Sir Rodney, sit down. I, need I to can't sit down. We have to celebrate. What? You're not going to believe this. Amy O'Brien, this big time manager, was at the club tonight. She saw me. She wants me to do a showcase. Oh, honey, that's great. Great. But... Hell, it's fantastic. You know what this means? If she signs me, I get to work all of her clubs. She's got two funny biscuits and three laugh holes. <laughs> it's finally happening. We're finally getting what we worked so hard for. I lost my job today. I can't believe you got laid off. Yeah, the bank called right after you left. Apparently, we got bought out by the Central Bank of Greater Tulsa. Today was my last day. I thought you were the Central Bank of Greater Tulsa. No, we're the Greater Bank of Central Tulsa. <laughs> Mommy, I've been at that job for eight years. You'd think you'd know the name by now. Oh, wait, you're right. We are the Central Bank of Greater Tulsa. <laughs> Whatever, I'm out of a job. Man, you leave a couple of pesos and a collection plate, and God never forgives you. <laughs> well, the worst part of it is, is that at the end of the month, we're losing our health insurance. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, it's not your fault. I mean, maybe it isn't so bad. I mean, you hated that job anyways. And now you can find another one. Yeah, but what are we gonna do about insurance until then? I'll just get Barry to put us on his construction company health plan. You think he'll do that? Of course he will. I got some dirt on him. <laughs> Last summer, we went to this construction convention and then uh, we ended up at this, uh, he ended up at this. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, we're getting insurance. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe this is a good thing. Yeah. I'm gonna polish off my resume and I'm gonna hit the pavement and I'm gonna find something great. There you go. Now, until then, money is gonna be real tight. I mean, money's always been tight. We'll just have to conserve more. We can, I don't know, start by showering together. <laughs> oh, 
No. Well, last time we did that, the only thing that got clean on me were my boobs. <laughs> yeah, but man, they were shiny. Morning. Oh, hey, could you hold that for me for a minute? Sure. Hey, listen, Barry, I got some bad news yesterday. Trina lost her job. The, uh, the bank got bought out. Oh, Rodney, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, thanks. Anyway, things are going to be pretty hard on us for a while, and I was just hoping that... Uh... Now, wait a minute. Let me stop you right there. I can't hire Trina, too. <laughs> God, no. That's asking way too much. I just need health insurance for my entire family. <laughs> Rodney, I'd love to help you out, but I don't give health insurance to any of my employees. It's just too expensive. Okay. Well, if this is the way it's got to be, then I'm going to take my skills somewhere where there's benefits. I'm sorry to do this to you, Barry, but I'm turning in my big ruler. That's a level. It can be called two different things. Just like mallet is another word for hammer. No, it isn't. Fine, I'll stay. All right, now, since I lost my job, we're going to have to be doing some cutting back. So that means when you go to the refrigerator, know what you want, no browsing, and take the smiley faces off your sock puppets because they're going back in the rotation. Mom, are we poor now? We've always been poor. No, we haven't, and we're not now. We're just... We're, we're building character. Poor people always say that. Boys, go wash up for dinner. Hello? Yes, this is Trina Hamilton. A receptionist position? Yes, I would be interested. Well, as a matter of fact, I've been told that I have excellent phone skills. Oh, crap! <laughs> hello? Hello? Damn it! Hello? Hello? Oh, you're still there? <laughs> and now you're not. Hey, honey. Hey, what did Barry say about the insurance? He said it was too expensive, but he did give me a brochure called Look Out, Tips for the Uninsured. <laughs> How'd the job hunt go? Terrible. I dropped off my resumes all over town. No one's hiring. And I even wore my lucky bra. You have a lucky bra? Yeah. It's the one I was wearing when I met you. You still have that? I thought I chewed that apart. <laughs> Look, I was thinking about it. Well, maybe I should look for something part-time, because that way at least we can afford to buy our own insurance. Well, if you're working half the day and watching the boys the other half, when are you going to have time to find something full-time? I mean, I'll just have to find a second job at night, and I'll pay for insurance that way. At night? Like what? I don't know. Janitor, baker, gentleman of the evening. <laughs> OK, let's say God hears you, and you become a gentleman of the evening. Mm -hmm. When are you going to sleep? Well, once they sample the product, probably never. Excuse me. 32.5 seconds. <laughs> I'm Rodney Hamilton. I called about the security job. Oh, yeah. Grab some pine. Need to ask you a few questions, make sure you're qualified. OK. Ah, let's see. You ever worked in security before? Uh, no. Oh, your license carry a gun? No. What's your jacket size? 46. All right, you're hired. <laughs> Just like that? That's all it takes? Well, I'm supposed to do a background check, but <laughs> you seem fine to me. All right. Uh, oh, all we got at the moment is the graveyard shift. Graveyard shift sounds perfect. Where is it? <laughs> clean themselves. <laughs> OK, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Trina, you always clean like a lunatic when you are upset. I'm not upset. 
It's actually kind of nice to relax after being the one with the steady job for the last year. Uh-huh. And since I have nothing to do and no place to go, I don't have to buy lunch, I don't have to buy gas, I don't even have to take a shower or get dressed. So I'm saving money on soap, shampoo, toothpaste, and razor blades. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that before you raised your arm there, Frenchie. All right, yes, I'm a little bit stressed. Just, Charlie, it's been a week. I thought I would have a job by now. But it's fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm handling it. Does Rodney know how well you're handling it? No, and I'm not going to tell him. But between that comedy showcase and his two jobs, I'm the last thing that he needs to worry about. Trina, you need to tell Rodney what's going on with you. One word to Rodney, and when I'm done with you, I'm gonna be able to see my face in your face. <laughs> okay. Hey, honey, how you doing? Great. How you doing? Great. Do you want something to eat? I don't have time. I gotta get to the cemetery. Okay. <laughs> you need to bathe. all night the best in talk tonight's topic conversations with the dead It's not as funny as I uh, thought it was going to be. You came all the way up here just to screw with me. Oh, uh, well, I know you'd do the same for me. <laughs> Actually, I just wanted to see how you was holding up. I was worried about you. That's sweet, Bear. I'd tear up if I wasn't already. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Uh -huh. I hadn't slept very much, but I only have to do this till Trina finds a job. Oh, well, how's she holding up? You had to shoot her with that tear gas yet? <laughs> well, I hadn't seen much of her and the boys, but, <clears throat> you know, she's a trooper. She'll find something. How you been? Well, since you've been working so much, I've been spending a lot of extra time with Jeannie. We've been going to the movies and playing cards, and having long talks. And it's horrible. <laughs> Barry, you got to stay strong. No, oh, Rodney, you don't understand. Last night, I had to clip Jeannie's toenails. <laughs> Ruined my best pair of wire cutters. Some people say a man is made out of dirt. Bow-legged breeches and a humpback shirt. Every man has his woman to make him tick. But only the miner has his pick. He loads 16 pounds. How do you feel? Too tired to work, too scared to steal. St. Peter, you're me today. Cause I'm a digging the other way. I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I remember my mama was a gone at the time. The doctor looked down and said, oh my, I wonder whether he's gonna walk or fly. Sixteen times. Sixteen times. Sixteen times. Hello? Hey, sweetie, what you doing? You're able to answer the phone and do that at the same time? I can barely turn the page. What? 
Nothing. I just pulled up at the club. I just called because I wanted to hear your voice. Oh, that's sweet. And you're gonna do great tonight. I know it. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, too. Me? Why? Well, I just know how crazy it's been the past couple of weeks, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate the way you've handled things around the house. Yeah, I'm pretty amazing. Well, I probably should let you go so you can get back to relaxing. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of you. Really? What am I wearing? Asleep. What is it? Get the scissors and cut my umbilical cord because a star was born tonight. <laughs> Honey, that is fantastic. Yeah, told it. It. Hey, boys. <laughs> Man, I missed you guys so much. Every time I thought I was too tired and I wasn't going to make it, I just thought about how much I love all of you. We love you too, Dad. I know you do. And you're going to see that this is all going to be worth it, I promise you. Hey! Hey, Dad! Dad. <laughs> What's he doing here? Well, you've been gone so much, I decided to replace you. What? I can get her lucky bra off in 32.5 seconds. <laughs> but I'm your husband. Oh, Rodney. 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 Amy, is it time for me to go on? No, you slept through your set. It's over? But I... Congratulations, Rodney. You blew it. Amy, wait. I'm sorry. I slept through the showcase. Can I come back tomorrow? Sure. I'll be in St. Louis, but knock yourself out. You gotta give me another chance. Rodney, if you want to make it in this business, you gotta take it seriously. I do take it serious. It's just that lately things have been tough at home. My wife lost her job. You know, I'm gonna cut you off right there, because you forgot to start with Dear Diary. <laughs> Look, Rodney, you have talent. We wouldn't be standing here wasting my time if you didn't. If you really want to make it, you got to sacrifice. Look, all I do is sacrifice. Read the sign, Rodney. It says the laugh hole, not the boo-hoo pit. <laughs> you call me when you're serious. Showcase go. I'm sorry, honey. I'll let you down. What, what? The manager shouldn't like your act? She didn't see it. What? Why? What happened? I, I just I fell asleep in my truck. I closed my eyes for two seconds and I woke up. It was over. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm just exhausted. I just been I've been pursuing this comedy, working two jobs is killing me. Trying to be a husband and a father all at the same time, and I feel like I'm failing at all of them. Why didn't you tell me you were having such a hard time? I didn't want to worry you. <laughs> what? Haven't you noticed how clean the house is? <laughs> I feel like I've barely been here. Well, I've been scrubbing like a maniac because I feel completely worthless. I mean, first I lose my job, and then no one will hire me, and... You're not worthless. No, but Rodney, I've always thought of this as a partnership, you know? Even when things got hard, I did my part and you did your part, and now I feel like you're doing all the parts and I'm doing no parts. No. This isn't working for either one of us. Something's gotta go. Yeah. But what? I'm gonna put my comedy on the back burner for a while. Rodney, everything that we have done for the last year is so you can pursue your comedy. I know, but we didn't plan on you losing your job or health insurance. I don't have the energy. I, if I got to do it half-assed, I can't do it. But when you find a job, I'll... I'll go at it full-ass. <laughs> 
and I'll be taking your ass with me. I love you. I love you. I miss us. Mm, me too. This place has never looked cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> I might have gone too far, though. I think yesterday I might have scrubbed a birthmark off of Bo's face. <laughs> uh, you know how when you've worked at a job for a long time and you start to take it for granted? And then after it's gone, you forget how important it was to you and how it made up who you are. And I know what they say, one door closes and another one opens, but... <sighs> Rodney? <laughs> we'll catch up tomorrow. Heavenly.